Hey everyone, welcome back to Rabia. The fuck? That's not, that's not a very uh, British sounding name of something. Do I have any more ammo for this Devastator shotgun? I have like six shots. It came sort of in handy, so I guess we'll keep it around. We just go, kind of go right past some of these guys. Oh, money. Well, how are we going to deal with some of these guys? Nice. Below. There's a lot of them here. I don't think, I don't think gas grenades are going to work despite the fact I have them. Fuck. What was the key for that? Fuck, I don't even remember. One sec. Uh, weapon management, why? That was why, okay. That was the key for it. What the heck is this? Grena concussion grenades, alright. Oh, I have an idea of how to deal with that. That's why I don't have to get up. I could stay down. There's a ventilation shaft going underneath. Uh, let's go underneath. What was important is we didn't have to hack it the normal way. We're playing sneaky, spooky spider. Maybe we'll check out what's out there. Got a battle rifle, damn. We got a stairwell here. We also have a key card right there, and I need to stop getting seen. Okay, I have a security key card. There's some ginormous boxes, which we can throw. Exploding EMP lasers. Fuck. Cause like I'm thinking like I I oh is there is it like right here oh it is right here oh shit does this blow up it's fine I did it oh good this thing actually did come in handy at least for the ending here there we go frag laser. Fuck. Can I... Actually, I'm in the elevator shaft, so it literally doesn't matter. Find and protect the delegates. Which floor are we going to? Can I just go down? Where the hell does this bring me? Meeting rooms. Oh, 
Confirm report of blood king. Sorry, right. I, I wanted to jump through it beforehand. Oh, what the fuck? This is awesome. This is oh, apparently the aiming has like an angling thing. It's kind of weird. I never noticed that. You know what? I'm gonna get rebreather, I think. Just so I can use that ability. Can I press F to hold this? No. No, I can't. Let's do, uh... Oh shit. Uh, hey. Awkward. <laughs> Alright, I'll just deal with them like this. It's fine. Alright, Parker. Okay, Storm Surge is active. Hey, I saw him like right here. Got him. Oh, there's some guys here too. Not close. Maybe I should get an EMP grenade up. The ones I haven't really used that much. Probably don't need to dump a Sear Shock on that much anymore. Shit. Whatever. Non lethal run over, guys. I had the shotgun out. What, what do you want me to do? Oh fuck, someone was on the other side. I saw him coming too. Why is it telling me to go there? I'm gonna check the VIP stuff. Let's see what's down in this floor. Wait, wait, wait. I just went to VIP room. Oh, is this how we were supposed to do it? Oh, I see. There's a turret that's on the other floor. Okay. That's kind of interesting how we did that. What can I say? I wasn't exactly thinking outside the box for that one. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. I can probably just get the last things here. We got a firewall in the way. We'll just wait for it. Access granted. As we consider the importance of this moment on a national level, on a global level, on a humanitarian level. Nobody drink. The champagne's been poisoned. But I had it replaced. It's a cuvée de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us, but what about the other attendees? TF-29 will evacuate them. I'm going after the people who did this. Then you have a long way to climb. Okay, so I did both anyways. I unlocked New Game Plus.
Monsanto CEO Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his safe harbor convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear, nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true. This is Eliza Hey, are you even listening to this? Why? We won! From Pike. Did we? <laughs> we completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the Orchid, the bombs. We've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Picus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. Miller, right? I'm sorry, Adam. I really did think he was working for the Illuminati. For a while, we both did. By the time I realized he was innocent, we can't change the past. We have to keep going. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Honestly, I'm surprised you let him live. No offense, Alex, but you weren't there in my place. Hey, man, none taken. Regardless, we want the men behind him behind the Human Restoration Act, the ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderley and Page. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting face to face, or I find him myself. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? Criminals may have achieved the impossible in Prague last week. A break in at the most secure data archiving facility in the world. According to rumors circulating the internet, forensic computer experts were invited to examine the Palisade Property Bank's lava wall defenses after one of its account holders reported an unusual data retrieval delay. No word yet on which account holder filed the report, or what information, if any, was accessed. Palisade Bank Corporation owners released a statement earlier this evening, claiming that any rumors of a break-in at our highly secured facility are just that. Rumors. Between you and me, folks, I think they doth protest too much. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. Augmented terrorist Viktor Marchenko, whom law enforcement officials describe as being instrumental in the planning and execution of devastating violence in London last week, is being moved to a secure facility for questioning. A long-standing member of the Augmented Rights Coalition, Marchenko has been very outspoken about his motives for the attack, claiming it was appropriate retribution for injustices suffered by the Augmented. I do not know about you folks, but there is only one question I really want the answer to right now. 
When will the United Nations pass the Human Restoration Act so that dangerous killers like Marchenko can no longer terrorize us? It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding ARC-controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong! ARC was framed. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that Viktor Marchenko was not ARC. He was trying to kill ARC, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. I am sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikoladze, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikoladze has gone off the grid and it is unlikely he will ever be found. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. News out of Paris today, where a sharp rise in illegal underground publications may have links to a prison escape recently orchestrated in Prague. Last week, Czech state police were holding members of the underground news group Samostat on charges of disturbing the peace, human trafficking, and media terrorism. The Radicals escaped their holding cell, however, and are believed to have subsequently made their way deeper into Western Europe. Shortly after their escape, a Radical publication called Silhouette began appearing throughout France. Has Samistad rebranded itself as Silhouette? I am sure you will agree with me on this one, folks. No matter what name these people go by, there is nothing more dangerous than the spread of false news. Alright guys, I think we finished the game. Yeah, it would appear to be the case. Alright, uh, what I think of the game. Uh, the ending was pretty disappointing. I, I don't know what the difference was in the choices, but it seems like the end result was the same. Uh, I mean, that was the problem with the ending, I guess, in the last game too, so what can I really say uh, in, in Human Revolution? They really haven't gotten the choices thing down quite as much. Um, I feel like when I was given choices, it was basically like... Like, one of, like, a couple things would happen. So I'd, I'd get into, like, an integral piece of dialogue, uh, into, like, integral piece of dialogue, basically, right? And so it'd basically be like, he want, like, they want me to go do something. So I can either say, like, yes, I'll do it on Mother Teresa, or I'll say, like, fuck your mother, or, like, or sometimes I'll just decline a side quest altogether and just go, like, no, I'm not doing it. So because it's a game, I want to go through it, right? I want to go through it all the way. So I, I was, like, much nicer to people than I probably wanted to be, but... The thing is, I, I think a lot of this game was essentially the illusion of choice. I mean, you know, you had, like, the the, be the greatest choices I had in this game was essentially to basically go up to some guy. He's like, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm only gonna let you pass if you give me a thousand credits. And I'm like, no, fuck that. And so I had to find some other way of getting around it kind of thing, because I'm cheap and I don't want to pay money for that kind of stuff. Um, that was the problem that I had with that. I... I think this is like the lowest of the games in terms of the actual meaningful decision making you've ever been able to make. Uh, and it's just, it's it's funny how it just didn't make a difference in the end. Um, I mean, you might disagree with me on that, uh, but that, there's that. There was a lot of padding out in this game in terms of the having to sneak past all the cops in, in the Prague uh, and things like that. And like having to run to subway to subway you know, th like going into different areas. I would say the actual explorable area and main kind of quest line wasn't that big, I would say. It was actually kind of 
it was small and everything was padded out. I'm just saying that right now. Like if if you had just focused on like the main uh, storyline and just kind of ran through that, I think the game would have been much shorter. Uh, but like you wanted to do the side quests and things like that. I think this is shorter than Human Revolution, basically, uh, and obviously much shorter than Deus Ex. Deus Ex the original Deus Ex was very long, uh, and we don't talk about Invisible War. That game doesn't exist. So there's that. Um, and then my biggest, my biggest gripe of this whole thing was non-lethal was too damn easy. And I complained about it several times. Guys, like, non-lethal in the original Deus Ex was meant to be kind of like a uh, prestige thing. Alright? And then you have this game. Uh, sorry, and then in Human Revolution, it was made easier. But it wasn't like... I wouldn't say it was easier than just killing everybody, right? Because the thing is, the, the way this game was always supposed to work was it was supposed to be like, oh, hey, um, you know, the most direct route and the best weapons that are the most, like, you know, simplest to use at taking out threats are the ones that will just fucking out, out, outright kill people, right? There is absolutely no reason I should have been using the tranquilizer rifle in, like, in like gunfire situations, because I never did that in Human Revolution, and I never would have done that in, in uh, the original Deus Ex. There was no reason I should have been doing non-lethal options when, like, it should have been much more difficult when, like, stealth broke. Like, I stopped kind of caring after a while because I'm just like, I can just non-lethal all these guys down. It doesn't matter. Then I used that Tesla thing a bit, uh, and, like, that made things even easier on top of that. Uh, the stun gun had, like, a little bit of range to it. Once again, making it easier. Dare I say, it's kind of casualize the whole concept of like non-lethal and stealth in for this game as i said if someone's really bad they should just be able to shoot everything and that's it kind of a thing and just like uh not care about those kinds of elements um i don't know i i wasn't i i, I think it's ridiculous how how easy they made it um it, very disappointing actually to be honest oh hey we got something else Is not the point. We should have all been informed. That is why we are here now. Volkart, what's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen who we believe may have had external help, possibly by the Juggernaut Collective or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we- All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. It's your own fault. I'm aware of that, Doctor. Elizabeth sends her regards. Hmm. Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent with the program. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact with Janus? Very. It's only a matter of time. And she was evil the whole time. Who would have thought? All right. Well, uh, continuing thoughts. Um, yeah, stealth is too damn easy. I mean, the really sad part is they actually have an achievement for it. Uh, they a they actually have an achievement for going through the game and not killing anybody. And I'm like, what? The? Like that's easier than doing combat. It really is. Because the thing is, you alert everyone. They all kind of come down on you and things like that, and they kill you, kind of thing. Like for me, it was like it was easier to do kind of like a stealth snipery thing, but. Realistically, the Trank one was just as good. Like, I didn't need that Lance Rifle, like, literally at all. Uh, you know, the Sniper Rifle was utterly useless because I couldn't put a silencer on it. Because uh, that means I would have had to do, like, full combat kind of run. I don't know. It's... I, I have a feeling, I think they designed this entire game around the... Kind of the stealth thing first and just got, gave all these tools for it and then they like just added kind of the combat stuff on the side like 
There was no Gap Gun rocket launcher kind of a thing. There wasn't the there wasn't the original game. There isn't in this one. Uh, sorry, there wasn't in, in Human Revolution, and there was in Deus Ex. This is the first game I think I've seen that you don't have that kind of those kinds of tools. Uh, so they really shitted up the combat portion of this. It's an achievement to fucking kill everything in the game. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Uh, it's not an achievement to fucking like stealth everything because honestly, that, that's what that's why I think this game is designed around, and I think it's. A piss poor excuse to actually have an achievement for it when it's like that's what you want people to do you want people to non-lethally take people out in stealth that's what you want them to do that's what the, that's what the game always very veers you towards i mean there was moments in the game where it actually punished it would it would have punished me if i had killed someone like the the, the guy the detective that came down he said he would he basically said at the end it's like it's a good thing she's still alive or else we would have a real problem now like I, he, he's gonna kill me it, like, like it would have been an even bigger problem. Like, so fuck. Like, why? I don't know. Anyways, uh, so how's this game compare to Human Revolution? You know, I, I feel bad because at the beginning I kind of said, it seems kind of like, you know, I, I, I was getting a good vibe from it because I'm like, you know, it seems better than Human Revolution in a lot of ways. Like, they've, they've kind of like really solidified some of the odds and things like that. It looks really interesting. But after playing through the entire thing and realizing, you know, kind of the story, the, all these issues with the story and with the style thing and the non-lethal and stuff, it's probably worse than Human Revolution. I, I As I said, I, I said it, I, I warned it was too early for me to make a decision. It, I don't hate this game. I think it's okay. Um, I I had higher hopes for it, I'll be honest. Um, as I said, I, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Like, it'll be something I definitely play again, like, you know, maybe in a few years I'll be just like, oh, you know, I wonder what that that uh, Mankind Divided game was all about, you know, and just fuck around in it a bit, but uh, I hate the beards that these guys have, holy shit. And the aviator sunglasses. Good for them. Uh, fuck. Why am, I, why am I hating on people? I don't know. It's just, it wasn't as good as I as I thought it was going to be when I started. I, I, I kind of had high hopes for it. I'm like, oh, this is going to be another Human Revolution kind of thing. Another, like, because Human Revolution wasn't as good as the original Deus Ex, but it was definitely good on, like, just standing on its own. And this one was kind of just like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. As I said, I still think it's much more difficult to do a, uh, a run trying to kill everything. Um, I'm going to say that the PC porting job, it's, the effort was there, but it wasn't good enough. Uh, I mean, it was clearly not a, a straight port, but, like, a fucking menus and stuff were just god-awful. And, like, randomly, like, things wouldn't work. Like, I couldn't use my... I couldn't type in numbers on the, um... On the, uh... Uh, the, the, the pads where I had to hack them. I couldn't type in numbers. It's maybe because they want to use a numpad, and my keyboard doesn't actually have a numpad. But I tried to use regular numbers, and it just didn't work. And so it's just, like, little things like that were just not done. And it, it kind of annoyed me a little bit. Uh, and like the, the yeah, the menus were bad. And God, the the augmentation switch, switching was using like um, it was it was weird. They used like the the F keys, and I mean it was this is an issue in the original game too, because all the augs used like F keys, but they weren't like things you would just shoot necessarily if I remember because it would be like you have your swimming aug you turn on you turn on your your fucking lifting aug uh you turn on like you, you basically tog they're they're basically toggles not like you use your uh the tesla gun kind of thing it's it was nothing like that which was pretty bad um so for a great deal of the game, I had the, all the Tesla upgrades, and I just didn't use it. Do, didn't use it. I had to force myself actually. I had to kind of change things around. And also that that sprinting aug, I, I didn't use at all. I got it really early on. I thought it would be great, but it just wasn't. Um, well, this story is a dashing aug. Uh, that one was pretty bad. Uh, I don't know. It sounded good in theory. Like, there's a lot of them. Like, I, I feel like if they had actually tried to use some of the augs, it would be like, yeah, this is not good. Let's not use. Let's not put that in the game. Kind of thing, because like I always think to myself, oh, this sounds kind of interesting, but just in practice, like they just didn't work out that well. Um, I don't know. I, I I felt like some of the augs could have been a little bit more creative. Like, and and the thing was though, even like that Tesla one, all that Tesla aug really did was just make non-lethal even easier. Like again, I I don't even know. 
Ah, oh, man. I don't want to complain about this too much. I'll, I'll talk about some stuff I liked. Um, I mean, some of those story, despite the fact that there wasn't many choices, the story elements were still pretty good. Uh, I mean, I, I did like the fact that it took place in Prague. That was kind of nice. Uh, and I mean, it's the gunplay. The gunplay was actually pretty good. If it like it like if you were using the sniper rifle and the battle rifle and the, and the combat rifle, as, like despite the fact there's no gap gun and stuff, the guns were actually pretty neat. It's just a shame that the metal smoothing was stuck to on. Uh, I mean, this game seems to have enough content to to warrant uh, like it's you're not it's you're not getting fucked on content. Let me just say that because we saw this other mode to do. I feel just from the campaign alone, probably it's long enough to work. Like even though it kind of like made it kind of uh, prolonged. I think even if without that, I think it still would have been okay. Just because it's a... Uh, the game The game story is decent enough and long enough and the dialogue seems uh, pretty okay. I don't want to watch the rest of this, really. Fuck, I can't skip it. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of people here involved in this. Okay, I, I just can't skip it, so we're just gonna we're just gonna watch it all the way to then. Fuck it. Uh, what else? Uh... I mean, you know what? Actually, that detective one, that some of the side missions were actually really interesting. Probably more interesting than the main quest line. I, li I like that um, person that was creepily stalking me and was a serial killer that was after me. That one was actually pretty good. Uh, I, I enjoyed that one. That was one of my enjoyable ones. Although, I will say, uh, my biggest gripe with that one is a co totally unsatisfying ending to that, where I just basically punched her out when she wasn't looking at me. Like, that, that fucking fight was over in, like, l less than 30 seconds flat. Um, and it was very anticlimactic, that one, I felt, actually. So that one, I don't know. I still have something negative to say about that one, I guess. Um, I mean, the exploration was okay. Uh, oh, I actually really liked that data vault. That data vault was really cool. Um, that was actually my favorite part, I think, of the game, is going into the um, the safes. Even though I, apparently I missed something, so I don't know what it was, but someone said I missed something, and I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. I mean, I, I think that, like... Realistically, there's there's more than enough in the game. I had like 99 trank rounds. Like maybe I missed like a practice kit, but I felt like I was like way over the top on the augments, basically at a certain point, you know. But anyways, um, yeah, I I loved going into the data vaults and the safes and stuff. That was by hands down my favorite part of the entire game. That was the best part. Uh, Zevon was a great deal of fun. Um. I mean, I, I did kind of find it odd that I was able to just kind of go shoot people and then they wouldn't really recognize the fact that I was there or something. Like, like things would basically, like... I That's why I started kind of running through the streets of Prague near the end, because I just said, fuck it. Because I'm like, as long as I make it to the end and I don't die, none of the characters particularly remember that I was going on a shooting spree or running through everything, which kind of makes it a bit odd. Um... Uh, I mean, I guess they didn't want to break the game, but still, it's it's really weird. And like how, like I, I, I think I went down to that garage three times, and they always came back up from there, like sleeping, because I put I would always put them out. I'm like, fuck, why don't I just kill them? Because I'm like, I have to redo it every time. And they have the exact same patrol routes. They do not react to it in any way. They're just like, they died the exact same dumbass way that they did before. So, uh, yeah, there's that. The final boss fight was basically just shoot the guy a whole bunch, so that was uh, kind of boring. I mean, there was like uh, that, that was actually like practically the only boss fight I think of the game, which is weird because they had three boss fights in the Human Revolution. Uh, but like, yeah, you just have to shoot the final boss guy a lot, and then and then he died. Pretty simple stuff. I mean, I, I shot him, and then eventually I used a Tesla gun, and that knocked his ass out, and that counted as non-lethal. And uh, I guess all of your ending decisions are, are only affect what happens at the very end of uh, the news broadcast. So I'm guessing, like, it's just because I didn't care and I was kind of being a little dick to everybody. Um, like, it was a mix of positive and negative. It was really weird. So, like, the positive stuff was essentially, uh, th like, side quests I was kind of forced into because I'm like, I don't want to just not do it because then, like, you guys are watching and you guys probably want to see what happens. I mean... Although I could have, I could have gotten those guys shot when they were running to the uh, to the end, so that could have been funny. But I'm sorry, they were running to the cleaners, and actually afterwards I'm like, why don't you just make them run and gun and just leave them to die? Because that actually would have been funny. 
But it was still one of those things. I thought there was, like, since it's blind, I don't know what's happening after. So I'm like, fuck it. Just let me get them to the end, you know. Whatever. We'll have a look. Um, kind of thing and see what happens. I don't know. It was This was a very odd news broadcast of, like, events, you know. I'm pretty sure, like, on YouTube, someone will have, like, the 100% the good ending. Where it's like, you know, Ark is, is redeemed and shit like that. Um... Also, this game obviously was playing on the whole racism angle with the whole, you know, uh, segregation and shit like that. Um, while the story was okay in some aspects, I think that was like the weakest part because I just did, I, I didn't believe it or follow along at all. I just I'm just like it's just kind of weird kind of thing. Like they were trying to basically, the Sex games always kind of mimic reality in a lot of ways, and so they were doing some sort of like. They were going on some political angle with like, you know, trying to relate it to stuff like you're an augmented person and everyone's discriminating against you, against you. like the cops literally fucking hate you and things like that. They're trying to make like an oppressive society. I mean, it's, it, this is a really weird game because I don't know how it would tie into any of the, the future games or the, like the, well, cause it's technically a prequel to the original Deus Ex, so it's like, it's weird. I don't know. Um, as I said, I, I, this game's a little bit on the... As I said, I'm okay with it. Uh, don't hate it. Don't love it. Uh, that's pretty much all I think about it. I don't know. They could have done a better job. This is maybe the invisible war to a human revolution. Who knows? Let's see what loads. Oh, that's it. We're all human beings. Look at all these achievements. You found the surprise inside. So, I don't know if you guys can see this, but, uh... Cross enemy ter ter territory like a ghost, raising no hostile action. You managed to stop both the bombing and the orchid poisoning. You're a living legend. So, wait, there's... There's a way to fuck up one, one or the other? I don't even know. Yeah, here's here you go. You killed Deus... Uh, you, you completed Deus Ex Mankind Divided without killing a single, a single soul. Boss or people, too. There you go. That's the that's the one. So, and as I said, I think that's a, honestly the easiest thing. This is probably a little bit more harder. You you triggered zero alarms, like doing a ghost run. That that that's how I think it goes. I think it goes like non-lethal is like the easiest way, especially if you kind of incorporate a bit of stealth. Shooting people is a sec is is kind of hard, and I think ghost is probably the hardest way of dealing with it. Like literally killing nobody. And literally setting off no alarms or nothing. Like, just, you have to get, pa you, you gotta get past everyone, and you cannot knock everyone, anyone down. That's, that would be my challenge run for this. You know, if I, if I was so inclined. What's New Game Plus do? Nobody quite knows. And here you have your, I'd never asked for this. So, that's it. So, we're probably gonna look at, uh... What is this? To choose to play Jensen's stories. Okay, so we got this to do, so I guess we'll do that right now. Uh, well, right up next, and then we're gonna probably play a little bit of the Breach uh, game here. Uh, so we'll, we'll check out what all that is. I don't think the extras are anything good. Yeah. And yeah, this is all whatever. Oh, what's the- there is a shop. Okay, here's your micro- oh, you know what? I never talked about this, did I? Here's your fucking microtransactions, kids. Uh, for 99, for, for fucking, this is, uh, I pay money for cheats in my games. What the fuck is this? Details. Gives you 1,000 credits. Okay, does it actually, like, integrate with Steam? Yeah, it actually does. Like, hey! It's 99 cents Canadian. Well, how about no? Cancel. Cancel transaction. No thank you. So, to add cheats to your games, it's right here. I didn't even fucking realize this was here. You could buy Praxis kits. Alright, so, maybe there was a bit of warranting for, because uh, I didn't actually know this existed. I wasn't even aware of what this was when I started. So this is what cheat codes have been replaced with, guys. It's, you fucking microtransactions. Alright, maybe, okay, maybe I disapprove of this slightly more than, because I, I, before I was like, I don't even know where the fuck it is, but now I actually found it. It's over here. So, that's pretty bad. That, the direction on this was really fucked up. Honestly. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to play through Jensen's stories, and then we're going to do Breach, and then we're going to see. But that's my opinion of the main campaign so far. It's kind of an odd length, and the choices didn't matter, and non-lethal was too easy, so... 
hope you enjoyed everybody and uh i guess i'll see you very soon for chosen stories and shit so laters